Hey guys and welcome back. In this video, I shall discuss about one issue with the VMware Workstation Player. Now, ever since I have upgraded my Windows 11 to the latest version that is 22H2 at the time of making this video, you can see it from here. This is the version I'm talking about. Ever since I have upgraded to this version, my VMware Player has been very sluggish. I have installed Windows 11 on my VMware and it has become very sluggish. It takes around 2-3 seconds for a click to happen. And it's really very hard to work with uh, such a sluggish and slow performing virtual machine. So now this problem can be because of many reasons and uh, we shall see some of the solutions. And I will also show the solution that worked for me. For your computer it might be different. So. I'll show all the solution that I have on my hand. So let's begin the video now. So this is my Windows 11 virtual machine. So the host operating system is also Windows 11 and the guest operating system that I have installed here is also Windows 11. So now the problem is if I try to increase the resolution, the system becomes very unresponsive or sluggish. If I keep it to the minimum resolution that is the 800 by 600 the performance is somehow acceptable so first of all i will need you to open up your virtual machine and then sign in or log in into your guest operating system let it completely boot up now once your operating system is ready you can click here on player and then drag to this option that says manage and then from here, from the sub menu, we can click here on this install VMware tools. So that's right. This is the first solution that I'll suggest you to take. We shall install the VMware tools and then see if it's going to solve our problem. So now it says make sure that you are logged in to the guest operating system. If you do not see VMware tools installing, click start and then run in your virtual machine and enter d colon backslash setup.exe where d is your virtual cd drive which means the vmware tools has been mounted as a cd drive so we can directly open it up i'll just click here on this file explorer let me just maximize the screen let me open the my pc or this pc and you can observe it here i have a c drive and then i have a d drive now the d drive is the vmware tools so just double click on it all right then uh, you will find this setup that is setup 64 which is the executable file so you will have to right click on this one setup 64 and then select this option that says run as administrator all right then the setup is going to begin the installation of the VMware tools and then we'll have to give the permission by clicking on yes all right now on this window we just have to click here on next and then it's going to ask the type of setup that you want you can go for this typical setup because this one is going to install all the uh, necessary features which you are going to need to run your virtual machine or you can click here on complete this is going to install all the program features that comes bundled with VMware tools and then click here on next. Finally, just click here on install and the installation is going to begin. So just sit back and let this installation be over. Now once this installation is over, you can feel much better performance from your virtual machine. I can feel the difference in the performance by the movement of the mouse itself and then it's going to ask you to restart your system for the configuration changes to take effect so you can just click here on yes and let your virtual machine restart now once your computer has booted up you can just log in into your operating system now once your computer has finished booting up you can just right click on the desktop and then just click here on display settings and then from here you can see this option display resolution now you can change the resolution from here according to the 
maximum allowed resolution in your display or your monitor so for me it's a full hd display so i'm going to select this one 1920 and then you can just check if your system is performing well if it's sluggish and it's unresponsive then you can just click here on revert and then we will look at the second solution now for the second solution just turn off your operating system that is the uh, guest operating system so i'll just shut it down now once it is off you can open up vmware workstation player and then from here you have to select your operating system for me it's uh, windows 11 64 and after that you'll have to click here on edit virtual machine settings now on the left side we have different tabs you have to select the tabs one by one and then on the right side we are going to change the settings so we will just click here on memory then make sure that you have allocated at least four gigabytes of memory if you can allocate more than four gigabytes that's very good but it should not be less than four for me I have 16 gigabytes of RAM in my host computer so I can safely allocate around 6 GB or 6 gigabytes of RAM to my guest operating system then click here on processors now if your computer has plenty of processor cores then you can allocate at least two processor cores to your operating system if your computer has a multi-core CPU then you can allocate more than that to quickly check how many logical cores are available in your computer you can just open task manager and to open task manager just right click on start button and then click here on the task manager then the start manager is going to open up then you will have to click here which says performance that is the performance tab and then after that click here on cpu after that you will be able to see how many logical cores are available in your computer in my computer 12 logical cores are available which means out of these 12 i can safely allocate four logical cores to my guest operating system now this is going to enhance the performance to a large extent so that is why i have allocated four if your computer has more cores available then you can obviously allocate more than four and you can see the performance boost in your virtual machine and then after that make sure you have allocated at least 64 gb storage to your guest operating system and then click here on display so whatever is the recommended number for your computer it will show up here you can just select that one and uh, then just click here on ok that's all so we need to change only these settings then you can play your virtual machine and check if it has solved your problem after that just log in into your guest operating system and quickly change the resolution to see if it's working for you or else we will move to the third solution now for the third solution you will have to turn off your virtual machine so just shut down your operating system and also keep in mind that for the third solution you will have to restart your host computer also now once your virtual machine has shut down all you have to do is just click on your start button and then search for command prompt or you can just type cmd then right click on command prompt and here click on run as administrator because we are going to need the administrator privileges to run the command all right now the command prompt has opened up in administrator mode and this is the command that we are going to run which is bcd edit space forward slash set space hypervisor launch type space off so we are actually going to turn off the hyper v by using this windows command that is the hypervisor and uh, if you are worried that you are running a command that you don't understand then you don't have to worry about that you can just run this command if it works for you then it's fine if it doesn't work for you then you can write this command once again and instead of off you will have to write auto and then the hyper v will be activated again so you don't have to worry about that 
for now just make it off and then hit enter and then you will get a message like this the operation completed successfully now we just have to turn this off you will have to change one more setting for that you can just right click on your start button and then just click here on settings all right then you will have to open windows security so just click here on privacy and security tab then under here you will have to click on this setting that says windows security all right and then click here on device security and we have to turn off or disable the memory integrity which comes under core isolation so just click here on core isolation details and then coming under here we will have to turn this off mine is already off if your memory integrity is on then you can just turn it off like this once it is off you can just close all the windows and then just restart your computer now once your computer restarts you can just open up vmware workstation player and then select your operating system that is windows 11 and then just play virtual machine then right click on the desktop once your operating system has finished booting up and then just click here on display settings now under the display resolution you are free to change the resolution according to the resolution supported by your monitor or the display and when you are happy with the changes you can just click on keep changes and that is all and i hope your system is no more unresponsive and it is running smoothly as it should and by following the three steps that i have showed you don't even have to downgrade to the earlier version of windows 11 you can keep using the latest version as well as you can have the best performance or the smooth performance on your vmware machine so that is all for this video i hope you were able to solve your problem by following this video so don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i'm going to see you in the next video till then take care and thanks for watching